bike didn't sound too clever despite the fact he won the the last race and he's going to be pushed off he's desperate as I say for spare parts at Coventry on Saturday So coming into line then for heat three, Gary Moon on gate one, Ian Smith gate two, Richard Moore gate three. Dale Marshall gate to the four green lights on straight away and Marshall left at the start. There is Moon who gets out, Smith in close attendance again in second place, Moore in third. And Dale Marshall made a very bad start, finding himself at the back of the moment. As Moon coming under pressure from Smith, these two pulling away from Moore. Marshall looking for line around the outside, Moore coming off that top and Smith almost got inside Moon there, coming off that top corner. It's Moon then from Smith, the same one to the one two in heat number one. Marsh, uh, Moore in third, in with Marshall at the back after making that uh, bad start. Moon again, rise mid track, and Smith trying to sweep round the outside, cuts back for an inside move with Moon with the speed leading can put in two. Still Smith in second, Moore in third. Marshall still at the back, is up the back straight they go, and Ian Smith this time much closer to Gary Moon. Moon again pulls away on the straight, they throw the machines into this top corner. Moon rise mid track. And Marsh Smith doesn't quite know where to go. Trying to bore a hole on the inside of Gary Moon as they complete lap number three. Still Moon just ahead of Smith. Smith again goes for the outside, locks it up round the outside of that pits corner. Two bikes between them into the top corner for the final time. Moon takes the title line for to Smith round the outside, and Gary Moon makes it two to two. Second is Ian Smith, third place Richard Moore, and obviously Del Marsh has still not got that machine completely sorted out. And I think a few problems there for. Gary Moon after the race finished, the bike has overheated there but a lot of smoke coming out of Gary Moon's machine after winning heat number three but certainly pushed much closer there by Ian Smith in heat three.